Today I'm going to do a little short video showing you guys how to do a soil drench with Azimax. Main reason we're doing this is for fungus gnats. Now I don't have mites and thrips or anything else that I can see. We run a relatively clean garden here, dry, we keep our temperatures even. But if, you, if you've kept up with any of my videos, you know that uh, the root soil that I like so much is just packed full of gnats. So I've been using predatory nematodes, and I've also been using natural that the roots guys supplied me. As you can see by these sticky traps right here, I've got some serious gnat action. So after doing a little bit of research I've determined that the best thing for me to do is to treat them with Azimax in a soil drench. So that's what we're about to do. I'll be using dechlorinated pH adjusted water. Um, this water is adjusted to 6.8 so we're just going to take a watering bucket here Scoop two gallons out. So this is the product we're going to be using. Azimax. It's a neem deriv derived miticide and nemicide. One of the things that's really important to me is it's got its Omri certification. So we're using an organic product. It's always smart to read your instructions when you're using a new product, so I went over them briefly. And then I went in and I found this nice schedule for drenching. So for one gallon, I think we're going to go with one and a half teaspoons. Maybe a 0.6 percent. We're going to use that every 10 14 days make sense let's give it a try so there's the little boogers right there fungus gnat six percent volume kind of gnarly looking stuff there and we'll get it all mixed up here real quick so now we're simply going to drench each one of our plants hopefully taking out these daggum gnats this is the apollo The DNA Afghanis, you'll see featured in a movie here soon. Got to switch hands here. With better control. Now let's hope this is the end of these pesky fungus gnats. And I, I'll tell you that, uh, you know, all mixed up, the stuff doesn't smell, you know, not, it doesn't smell at all, really. I can barely smell neem. So while it looked pretty nasty, you know, it's not like some heavy pet insecticide that we put on our plants. Hopefully this is the end of this fungus gnat problem. They don't really cause that much damage to your plant unless completely left unchecked. Which we have not. So I'm going to do the big plants. That's really all we got for today. What's up to what's up cool TV bringing you soil drench. Now we've got everything put back together. We've got our oscillating fan which gives us some uh, stem strength, move everything around. We've also got this uh, HEPA filter here with a UV germicide light in it just to keep kills any spores. So the main reason I'm back on cam is to remind you guys that we need to redo this in 10 to 14 days. So I'm going to mark it on the calendar. We'll do it again. So it's July 
the 13th. And we'll do it again here. So thanks for tuning in. And I'll let you know if this guy's if this works. Take care.